Hello there guys, VG Hunty from Twisted Gaming here again with another build video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done uh, a build video, but basically I wanted to wait for this patch to drop, the uh, Somerset patch, um, and then obviously we'll start firing out some builds from now. As a lot's changed, the 2H passive and the jewelry passive, uh, jewelry crafting has changed a lot, um, reference builds and stuff, so um, it's opened up a, a whole new um era of sets that you can put together and all that sort of good stuff so yeah here we go so this is the mag sork this is what i've been having real good success with okay really good resource management real good damage um and overall probably the on the magic sorcerer at the moment um for quite a while um and is really good man and it's really really strong really strong okay and it's it i'm having no dramas with anyone at the moment it seems to be uh Standing toe to toe with every build at the moment. I've not had any dramas at all. Let's go straight into it then. So running, what we're running is War Maiden on the front bar. Okay, so we're running the the staff, which now counts as a two piece start, uh, set, and then we're running the three jewelry. Okay, as you can see, I'm running one spell damage and two recovery there. As damage is good enough. We're running one willpower staff on the back bar. Obviously, as we go, 2H gives us the two-piece, which is the Max Magica. The reason I have this on the on Max Magica bar is, one, it would just be a random staff. And two, having the willpower there just gives us that bigger shield on the back bar when we're being chased down by a Zerg or whatever. It gives us that bigger shield on the back bar. Okay, monster sets then. You can run two-piece Infernal Guardian, but I'm going for Matt's stat here, and I've gone for Infernal Guardian on one Dommer House. Okay, this gives us a stamina pool and magic pool, and then obviously this gives us a magic pool even more. Because the emphasis on there's a lot of DPS going down, and my recommendation is 40k plus max magic, uh, or else your shields are just going to be too weak, and you're going to find yourself casting shields more than you are doing any damage. Okay, and the five piece on the body, there's no change with shackle breaker on the body, okay? Okay, you want this all in pen, mine's all in different traits because I'm a crazy lunatic, okay? But you want this all uh, in pen in shackle breaker there. And as you can see, shackle breaker's been used um, a lot last patch, so that's nothing new to anyone, okay? But we're linking up shackle breaker with war maiden, and we're allowed to use a month, two piece monster set now, okay? So it allows us to bump up that match stat. So let's actually look at the skills. So the bat bar, we're running hard and ward, harness magica, healing ward, streak, dark conversion. You could drop this for duels and stuff. I'd drop this for mines, okay, because you've got mines and you can use heavy resto. Okay, but for open world, when you're trying to negate that when you're trying to get away from that Zerg and trying to get some line of sight, okay, two streaks of dark conversion and then a streak, dark conversion, streak, dark conversion sort of works really well. Okay, eyes come at the back bar, okay, one, when you're in small group play, you've got that big ultimate to drop on groups. Okay, um, and also it allows you to pump the max magic up on the back bar. Front bar, crystal frags, curse, force pulse, can run flame reach, okay, but I just don't like it. Is it one, it's just slow and clunky, and two, costs a lot, um, and I just prefer my force pulse light attack weave. For me, works um, a lot more fluent for me. Endless Fury is the execute structured entity as the spell power buff. Um, okay, obviously this does no longer does the empowerment. Okay, but it does make your next light attack do more damage. Okay, now if you do weave this in uh, with your light attacks, okay, um, you will light attacks will do more damage, but it's not worth keep casting and weaving to be honest. So I just use it as my spell power buff. Um, you can use uh, Power Surge, okay, probably better off using Power Surge, but I've just used Structure to be Degeneration for that long, I've just got used to it, and when I put Power Surge on, it just feels weird to me. Okay, Dawnbreaker of Smiting, that's going to be my burst, DPS slash CC, okay, all in one. Once I've got an Insta Frag up, what I do is come in, drop an Endless, drop a Dawnbreaker, smash down a Curse, and this goes off bam happy days okay that's the skills ladies and gents we are using a witch mother's potent brew it's going to give us max magica max health and magic recovery 
can use try food but you might your recovery will be a little bit too low um yeah and you'll probably struggle for resources doing it that way uh let's go into the champion points like i say every time champion points are player specific so obviously you might not agree with my champion points that's completely fine you might have your own champion point set up again completely fine it's it's how you find your champion points work for you and your playstyle. So that's my champion points quick run over. Don't really emphasize on the champion. A lot of people have their own set champion points now. And do their own thing. Okay. Um, and that is it. Let's have a look at the buffs. The stats. Okay. Look at it. 42 and a half max magicka. 2k recovery. And unbuffed we're looking at 2.1 okay fully buffed you're looking at 3.1 fully buffed spell damage okay um overall really good stats so we got 42 plus max magicka so our shields are nice and big we've got 3.1 spell damage with war maiden okay so we've got the 400 war maiden gives us and a spell damage is 3.1 so we're looking really good for damage and then resource management we've got 2k with dark conversion overall really well-rounded build um, and has everything you ever needed and i thought i'd show off my mount because i got it on my first crate um, and i think it's quite a cool looking mount to be honest and i don't i haven't seen many of these cutting around so i thought i'd show it off and that's the build guys any questions obviously whack them in the comments below for those that want to see a, a specific class build obviously whack it in the comments below again if you want to see a nightblade or any other class obviously let me know i have got builds coming out for the magplar and the magic temp uh, the stam blade coming out very soon and a stam sork one coming out soon okay so uh just stay tuned obviously make sure you subscribe thanks for all the support guys peace out